Welcome to the Growth Hub. In today's video, we delve deep into the realm of toxic positivity and its potential harm to our mental and emotional well being. Sit back and let's dive into it. Have you ever found yourself questioning if too much positivity can indeed be detrimental? It may seem implausible, but this is where we introduce you to the rather intriguing concept of toxic positivity. This represents the excessive and often forceful emphasis placed on maintaining a happy, optimistic state, regardless of the circumstances around us. Toxic positivity is closely tied to another complex psychological phenomenon known as emotional bypassing. Emotional bypassing can be described as the practice where we consciously or unconsciously avoid or ignore our negative feelings or uncomfortable emotions, and instead, attempt to replace them with an artificial veil positivity. While it might seem like a good idea to avoid negative emotions, this forced and unnatural positivity can be harmful. Suppressing or ignoring these feelings, rather than addressing them, can lead to emotional instability, stress, and anxiety. It's essential to remember that positivity merely about the volume or intensity of optimism we project. Instead, the quality, authenticity, and context of our positivity are also crucial. It's important to allow ourselves to feel a full range of emotions, both positive and negative, to truly understand and engage with our mental and emotional states. So bear in mind, it's not just about the quantity of positivity, but the quality and context that matter. What happens when we constantly avoid or dismiss our negative feelings? Well, that's where emotional bypassing comes into play. It's like taking a detour around a roadblock of negative emotions or painful experiences, using positivity as our navigation system. But here's the catch. While it might feel like a smooth ride in the short term, in the long run, this avoidance strategy takes a toll on our mental health. Why? Because it creates an unhealthy cycle of emotional suppression. We're not allowing ourselves to fully experience and process our emotional spectrum. This leads to feelings being bottled up, and over time, that pressure builds. Emotional bypassing also deprives us of a crucial opportunity for self-understanding and growth. Our emotions, especially the difficult ones, can serve as signposts, guiding us towards areas of our lives that need attention and care. When we bypass our emotions, we're not just avoiding the negative, we're also missing out on understanding ourselves better. Do you remember the famous white bear experiment by social psychologist Daniel Wegner? In this intriguing study, participants were instructed to not think about a white bear, but the paradox was that they ended up thinking about it even more. This phenomenon is aptly named ironic process theory, and it serves as a powerful metaphor in understanding the pitfalls of toxic positivity. When we constantly force ourselves to suppress negative emotions with a barrage of positivity, we inadvertently give these emotions more power, causing them to resurface more frequently, much like the elusive white bear in Wegner's experiment. This is not to say that positivity is harmful. On the contrary, it's a necessary aspect of our lives. The issue arises when we use positivity as a cloak, hiding the reality of our emotions underneath. Just like the white bear that wouldn't disappear, our emotions demand to be felt, understood and accepted. So what have we learned about the dark side of positivity? That by intentionally pretending that the way you feel, you do not actually feel it, is undermining your own self, your identity, and can erode any autonomy you have in life. If you feel a certain way, you feel that way for a reason. Pretending that you don't won't change reality. We've connected these concepts with the white bear experiment, showing how suppression can backfire. The key takeaway? Balance. Emotions, both positive and negative, are part of the human experience, and acknowledging them is crucial. Positivity is powerful, but only when it's genuine, balanced, and allows room for all our emotions. So next time somebody asks how you are, be honest. Your mental health will thank you. That's all for this video. Until next time.